push that till it turns red. No we shit. <laughs> Dickless. <laughs> All right, my friend. You ready? <laughs> dick. I'm dick full, man. <laughs> is that mine or is that yours? I don't remember. That's mine. Okay. I just, <laughs> or ours. <laughs> How am I coughing? Okay. Hey, everybody. Peace. Good day to you, sir. Um, Dos Tamian? Yes. <laughs> to Dos also. Tamian. Welcome to um, Not Conscious episode five. This is, your, oh, this is you, sir. I don't, I, can't, I don't count. Well, you're a special guest. I'm a special guest. guest. You're a special guest referee. Paul Heyman. Or something like that. Okay, is that better, sir? Do you like that view? Is that is that how it looks? Okay. Looking sexy as ever, sir. You can see my lips. Um, so today we're going to talk about, we're going to have a conversation about a specific organized religion that blows, in my personal oh, opinion. that's not the good way Is that not a good start? <laughs> I mean, it kind of blows, in my opinion. I'm allowed to have opinions, right? You are, sir. Okay, I didn't Welcome know. Welcome to the world. You're allowed that's to have them. Check. I didn't say they're correct. They're mine. So, whatever. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the Catholic Church. Um, before I uh, before I even recorded this, before you came over, as soon as we started talking about doing this, I had already messaged a bunch of my people who listen to this, because I know a lot of people have faith, and I'm not here to disrespect anyone or step on toes, but I wanted to let them, uh, warn them of this podcast episode, because it's not going to be very kind, unfortunately. Um, in my opinion, it's as factual as I can be. Um, emotions get in the way a little bit, but we are going to try to be as factual as we can. It's going to be hard. I don't know how I'm going to handle it. Excuse me. Um, Chris is with us again, so welcome, Chris. Thank you. The reason we have Chris on is because Chris, even more than I, because I knew the person we're going to talk about, um, Chris had a very special relationship with this person. And he knows a lot about a specific event. And we're going to talk about other events that happened within the Catholic Church as well. But um, is that a good enough opening for you, Chris? Yes, sir. So we're going to talk about a gentleman named Tyson Hummel. Um, and when did he pass, Chris? 2016. So it's been up to four years, almost four years probably. I think it was in four years last month. <sighs> So we lost Tyson to cancer. Yes, sir. And um, and he was. Well, I, I don't want to speak for you, but family man, military, <laughs> good dude. I don't know another way to say it. I, I I would agree. And I'm going to like shut the fuck up for a minute, or ten minutes, or an hour, and let you share your story of how <laughs> you, you can't shut up for an hour. It's probably Challenge literally accepted. impossible. I don't accept that challenge. I will. But um, if you could just kind of tell us about your relationship, how, how it became, and then we'll talk about what happened after you set up your relationship with him. Sure. Uh, um, first of all, I, I want to, I feel I need to say that the topic is very s s sensitive. sensitive is not the right word. So I, I need to, I feel like I need to apologize. Because how about incendiary? A little bit There's more. many adjectives, so I feel that I need to apologize ahead of time because um, there's really no other way for me to say it except for the fact that I have a lot of rage because my friend was... <clears throat> Went through what he did. Yeah, and I was raised the way I was raised... And I am, he was, bet bet betrayed is not even the, there's no way to accurately describe. And I, I'm very, and he's been gone for four years and I still, so it's, it's going to be hard for me to, to be 
non-emotional. So I feel like I need to say that now and to apologize ahead of time if I be, if I sound vicious or come across vengeful or like I'm attacking. I, I that may I'm not sure if that's my intent or not. It might it might be shit. But welcome to America, my friend. Real quick. We don't I, do anything real quick. <laughs> look, man, I did a I did a three minute podcast. Oh yeah. I, yeah, did, it, I did it on one thing, my friend. It was called speech, freedom, speech. freedom speech. Yes, bro. sir. Yes, sir. So I'm I'm going to let you tell your story exactly how you wish. It is your right to express yourself. The views of yourself are yours, and that's doesn't doesn't matter what the fuck I think or anyone else thinks. And I'm I'm sorry, but this is going to be pretty fucking hard, people. And it's cool though because we're going to state facts, and you'll understand. So tell us about Tyson, man. Um, I met Tyson in whatever year it was. Who cares? Um, Thirty-five years ago. So, but I was thirteen. He was fourteen. He was a year and a week older than I was. Um, we met two weeks before we started our freshman year of high school at um, Junior ROTC camp, where they teach you how to march and do push-ups and. Etc. And, and wear lapel pins, I think. Yeah, and like look stupid in our little polyester uniforms in the eighties. So um, we there was like twenty four of us there, and Tyson and I were natural, not to be egotistical, but naturally we were the two leaders of the twenty four people that showed up. So we I can get, see that because I've met both of you. So Absolutely. we got we kind of got in, put in charge of our two. They were called flights or platoons or squads or whatever you want to call those two groups. So we were basically battling him and I for two weeks of which was better. Right. Um, and we were very competitive. I don't remember who won. It, I don't – he may have. I don't care. It's not important. I don't think it's important. I think it's cool that that's how you bonded. Right. We were, we were at each other's throats. We were, it was it – was, it was, we, wa we wanted to kick each other's asses. Oh, totally. And – at the did you ever get physical? Did you ever? Oh, no, no, no. We you just got it for the feel, like it, the, yeah. The, it was the urge we could of tell, the competition. We could tell that we were the top two guys there, and we were, you know, I was thirteen, yeah. So we were young, you know. I hadn't, you know, I was. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if I had shaved yet. <laughs> I, probably, I don't think so. Um, you know, I was a kid. I was, right. a, I was a child. Thirteen. So I hadn't turned fourteen until the first week of high school. So I, I was, I was nothing, right? <laughs> So, but we were competitive. All we always were. But right. that, those first two weeks, I remember vividly, which is crazy. And then at the end of the two weeks, I, I thought I remember this. I thought to myself, well, e you know, either I could continue down this road with him of being competitive, or maybe we could be friends. So I pulled him aside and said, "Hey, look, dude, we're we're obviously the best two guys here. What do you say we just call it even and be friends with our powers combined?" Yeah, and I he we shook I'm hands Planet. and. Da, 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 da. And uh, <laughs> we we became instant friends, and we were friends for 30, 33 years or something. Um, four years of high school, four years of junior ROTC. Uh, we went, you know, we went to concerts together. We did, you know, like you name it, every yeah. everything, you know. Um, Second best friend, basically. Well, right? yeah, there was, you know, yeah, there was like there was a group of us <clears> that all hung out together. Um, I was there when his dad passed away. I, you know, it was like. It was, yes. you know, your, your, your family, your yeah, chosen yeah, family at thir from 13. Yeah, That's it pretty... was basically like he was my adopted brother because his parents had divorced and his dad, you know. It... Hello, Twitter world. <laughs> How many people have friends since they were 13? It's very hard. Very right. hard, right? Old friends. Yeah. There's a song by Ben Rector called Old Friends. You can't make old friends. There you go. Uh, we went to college together. We joined the fraternity together. Um, you know, I... I, I... I was there when he got out of flight school. I was there when he, you know. Did he, was he very vital in your decision to go to where we went to college instead of USC? Oh, absolutely. I, it was, a, it was a, a security blanket that, hey, there's a very good friend of mine that also got into the same, one of the same colleges I got into. So it made, it was like, a, oh, hey, I can go to this school 
and, hang and, and have and hang out with a guy that it was it was going to another state when you're 17 and it's not completely unfamiliar right so absolutely i totally get that and i i, I wasn't asking in any critical way no no I understand. it's funny how we are motivated by certain things and we've always talked about our college of choice yeah. and, well right. our college of where we actually where went we... versus our college of choice <laughs> yeah. our college of choice are usc yeah. and penn state respectively fight on um but uh we both went to uh where well, I don't want to say a that. small that technical school wrong. that we should not have went to. And we regret that decision. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Um, irregardless, um, Tyson and I. He Tyson started backpacking uh, when he in the air when he was in the Air Force. He he was in the Air Force twenty two years. He was a KC ten pilot. Um, he sent me. Is the KC-10 the refueler? Yeah. C-130 refueler or whatever? It's, it's, like a, the, it's the, a DC-10, right, KC-10. I'm sorry, DC-10 MD-11, which is converted right. to re, do air-to-air -air refueling. To do air-to-air refueling. Okay. Right. I just want to, just so we're clear about some of the yeah. military terms, a KC-10 is basically, it's a commer it also is a commercial plane at the time. Correct. That was re retrofit to refuel jets in the air. Correct. Or other aircraft in the air. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Um, he was second in his class in flight school, and he got to pick any jet in the Air Force. So they said, here, you can pick any jet you want. He could have been a top gun pilot. He could have picked an F-15, which was the, most, F yeah, he, it was the most advanced jet fighter in the world at the yeah. time. And he picked, I want to fly a jumbo jet and refuel other planes. So that And the F-15 was, was the shit. That was then. the most I mean, advanced the fighter thing. on the planet at yeah. the time, 1995. Yeah, and he had the 18... I mean, we grew up with Top Guns. So we had the F-14. Well, he was still in Force service. Pilot. Right, but... So... Yes, true. He, so he had the A-10. So there was... That's a, correct. Anyway. There were A-10. Right, so I get he, you. So Maybe, he flew the yeah, case 10 for like 18 right. years, and then he flew drones the last few years, and then he retired. He was retired for... He flew drones. Yeah, for That's three right. years, yeah. So um, after he got out of... He was a squadron commander for KC-10s, so this and that, and then he got out of the Air Force for three years, and the last two years he got cancer and... <sighs> Um, he passed away. Yeah. So, um, and and we love you, Tyson. Yeah. Uh, dur halfway through his Air Force career, he started backpacking a lot. Um, he said he climbed every fourteen thousand foot peak west of the Mississippi. So Gosh. every peak in Colorado, every peak S Washington. Yep. Flagstaff. Yep. Um, everyone um, in Humphrey's California Peak, is that right? Yes, everyone yes. in Cal California, everyone in uh, New Mexico. Oh, so awesome. the guy was busy. He was an avid Sierra Club member. Um, so he started. He said, "Hey man, let's go. I want you to let's go hiking." And I'm like, "Okay." And I went to the gym a lot, and I was in decent, better shape. Um, so You're I still, bro, 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 bro. So he goes, "I go okay. What do I do?" He goes, "Buy these shoes. Get on the treadmill." I go, "Okay." He goes, "Put the incline all the way up." Go. I was like, okay. So my first hike with him was Havasupai Falls Grand Canyon. And, <laughs> well, it's treadmill. And <laughs> so I got and I the pictures of us on. I've that never first, hiked on a treadmill. By the way. Well, that's amazing. My first the first pics of us was Tyson looked like an REI catalog, and I looked like a dude going to school because I had a Jan Sport backpack <laughs> and a Raiders sweatshirt. <laughs> I did. I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> you were a fucking hippie that he picked up hitchhiking on the way to his hike. Kinda. <laughs> I, I mean, the only difference was I, my shoes oh my were. God, very, I had good, he good told, shoes. He told me he goes, okay, buy Footwear. these, buy these right. hiking shoes. I'm like, okay. And then we hiked Footwear. to Havasu Pai For Falls, sure. and I'm wearing a t-shirt and like gym pants. And then, but I, because I trained for the hike, I beat his ass getting out of the canyon. And then I got, I was addicted, so I. Him and I yeah. did backpacking trips on the John Muir Trail. We did 50 miles in Northern California. Uh, but all influenced by him. Absolutely. Directly influenced. Your, one of your current passions yeah. is directly influenced from your relationship with this man. Absolutely. I mean, th I've done Zion National Park with him in Utah, which was the most amazing, breathtaking place I've ever been. Better than the Grand Canyon, in my opinion. I've heard Zion um, is I, We did Sequoia and yeah. Kings Canyon National Park in Northern California. 50 miles there it was just being at 9,000 feet and just sitting there and all you hear is a little stream going by you is it's amazing it's some of the most amazing moments of my life have been sitting next to Tyson in the middle of a meadow just sitting being yes exactly right
It's just there's, that that's one of the one of the things we talk about, and we haven't obviously we're a pretty new podcast, but we talk about like the consciousness of things, right? We are human beings, yet we treat ourselves like human doings. Like, what do you do? What do you do? Like, like your job or whatever your task is, what defines you? And we hardly ever be. Absolutely, and that's unfortunate. Why? Just, and that's what we're called. Yes, we are human beings I, I i mean it's a direct word of what what you're expressing absolutely yes sir i couldn't agree more i mean I, turn your phone off put it on airplane mode for 10 minutes and just put it face down and just just chill my best times are when i forget it in my car right <laughs> When I'm grocery shopping, I'm like, oh, yeah. but but let's go back to the meadow. I'm sorry, I didn't mean no, to step no, on that. You're but okay. I don't but like, because it is, it's about. Yeah, it, it was like you I, yeah. just were being. Yeah, and it's funny because I remember um, that that trip in Northern California with him. It's because I'm such an avid heavy metal guy. What a shocker! My Iron Maiden shirt. And it's funny because I remember on that last day, on the fifth day, right before on the morning we got up. What did God create on the fifth day? I forget. Uh, heavy metal. Uh, Sweet Slayer. So on the on the fifth day we got up and it, my it was twenty five degrees in August and my and my tent was iced over and it, it was amazing. But I remember thinking, wow, I, I you know my uh, my cell phone I have no signal, and I thought to myself, I haven't listened to music in five days, and that was a novel concept to me. It, right. Because I didn't have my headphones. I didn't bring my headphones because I'm, you know, you have all your stuff it's on your back. light, yeah. You so can't. you don't, you can't. Your in-ears weren't even Boom. really a thing. That, like, they weren't huge. You, you still had some kind of head. Well, this band. was in probably 05. Oh, okay. So I, I had know. something I, like these, you know. I'm talking out of my ass, leaves. His yeah. butthole. So, um. But still, I, I just remember you're packing thinking, light. Yes. You're, you're, you're essentials. Correct, sir. Yeah, food, water, yeah. Yeah, bear can in Northern California. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I just remember thinking that we humans need to do that more often where you don't right. hey let's just chill out and enjoy the world and enjoy each other and turn off your phone can i tell you what my day consists of anyone that any day of the week that ends in day no go yes i know you i knew you <laughs> fuck with me um television on phone in hand laptop on my desk some music playing in the background that is all day it's I have a lot of voices, but to get to that level that you just mentioned, it would, I, I don't know if I'd break or if I'd just be like, thank fucking God for that. But isn't it nice? I, I mean, don't, so let me ask you this. If yeah. this is a tangent. Sure. So, but, but that's what we're all about. Uh, many times, uh, three, four times a week, I will actually notice at the end of a day, even if, you know, we're working from home during this time right now. Well, we're during COVID-19. Yeah. Just that quiet. Tail end, everybody's going to leave right now, and then they're going to re-get it. So, prediction, put that, put a pin in that one. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Okay, and if I'm wrong, I hope I'm wrong, but still. Um, it's very, I noticed that at the end of a day, I turn off, you know, my, my work monitor, and it right now in my house, it's just my dogs and I. And I don't hear anything. And I go, wow, it sure is nice and quiet. And I will consciously think that three or four times a week. And then That's I just, beautiful. I won't turn the TV on. I won't turn any music on. And I'm a music guy. Oh, yeah. I love all totally. kinds of music. So, and I, it, it's just nice to, to be quiet for 20 or 30 minutes. I'm a, med I'm a meditation failure. By myself. I can do it in a group because I get stuff. I get visions and images. Remember, we, mm -hmm. like we talked mm -hmm. about, we haven't really covered a lot of that, but we'll talk about it. I need noise. It's almost like the noise is uh, enough. And if I got to where that was, I think I'd want peace. Because, I hey, uh, hello, Twitter world. I'm in therapy. No shit. Isn't Am I waving weird? the right arm? I'm, hello, Twitter world. <laughs> I'm in therapy. Yeah, this guy. Um, and when I talk about that, it's like, but he, you know, my, my therapist is like, what do you want? Uh, what do you want at the end of this? And the, there's two words that come to, come to mind. One is harmony versus dissonance, right? Because I feel like the, every, everything is clashing in my head. 
I want harmony. I would love just, I don't need the voices to say the same thing, but I need them to kind of parallel each other, or at least compliment each other. Like, oh, you look so nice today. No, not compliment, compliment people, but harmony. Mm. And then the other one is peace. And um, as someone who has had at least one suicidal ideation, I think I would, I would be ready to choose peace. So anyway, sorry, just putting that out there because this is, if we're going to be hard and deep and I'm going to cry today, let's do it all in one podcast. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want to do these too many of these. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm so, and I'm very sorry, but. No, you, there's no redo. There's no. <sighs> We should not be apologizing today. No, no, no. Even though I, yeah, I, 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 I can relate, dude. Yeah. So, um, I chose peace, and I can't, getting it the way you got it, the healthy way. I don't know of, and and I do know of the methods, and I just personally haven't. Well, I've struggled with getting there. Let's put it that way. But knowing that someone can get there, that does give me some kind of. Um, I don't want to say hope because I'm not a big hope guy, but. Someone did it, so maybe it's a blueprint for me to get there. There you go. What else do you want to know about Tyson? That's um, pretty much just that's yeah. that's pretty much our relationship. So your brothers, thir- since thirteen, uh, I would absolutely think that. I mean, he's one of my best friends. Brothers, I mean, but well, brothers. yeah. I mean, you know, he was in my wedding and blah blah blah. Right. You know, and well, let me do. Let me also paint a picture. I'm five six, so I'm a little dude. Tyson is Imposing. okay. First of all, Hummel. <laughs> he's German. And he he doesn't look like a Hummel. No, I'm just going to tell you he's right now. Six, he he's he's German. So and he's bilingual. He spoke German as well. His and um, he's six six. He was six six. So him standing next to me, <laughs> you know, we're best best One friends. Foot. He's Wait. literally a foot taller than I. And they both have the same stuff down. Well, I mean, I, look, if you were 5'6", and he was 6'6", six, six, and you were a woman, and he was a guy, and you were dating, not that it matters if it's man or woman, man, man, whatever. I'm not I'm not saying that. Twitter world. <laughs> but being a foot difference, being a guy, yeah. He's 10 inches taller than I am, so. He, he oh, was, my good leg. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. He's a, he was a very, and I, re, I was trying to think, when we met, when I was 13, he was 14, he was already tall. So he sprouted already. I don't think he was 6'6". Six, six, but he was already an imposing dude. Right. He had to be 6'2", easily. He's a dude in Little League that shaved. Like, you know, Prop- there's like that one going. kid. There's like, yeah, I'm he's 12. like, uh, hello, my name is Jimmy, <laughs> and I am 14, I am 11. You're like, Jimmy, yeah, stop, so stop, stop. I, I guess I should have said that earlier is that, you know, I, and I, maybe I should have brought a picture, or maybe I'll post And imagine something. that competition. You've got yeah, a five, six dude it, with his it, crew, funny. a six foot six, six, you know, whatever, tall guy with his complete opposites. Hate, not hate each other. No. Healthy competition, but, I didn't, but led to a beautiful friendship. Absolutely. And I didn't take any shit. I mean, I called right. him out all oh, the time, totally. and I didn't give a fuck. And and that's, what, you know, that's I think that's why he, he also respected me, is that he knew he couldn't walk on me, and I'm not going to take any shit. Because I'm like, uh, dude, I'm just as good as you, man. Don't, don't. <laughs> and at that and point, I can keep up with you, so don't fucking fuck with me. And to that point, though, he also respected Absolutely. that when you did have something to say, yeah. you had, you, you spoke it from knowing or being, or being what you were, not out of your ass. Right, of course. And but we he had, had to respect he, you because he, he could, because you were, you were his counterpart. He was very intelligent. He had a master's degree. Obviously, he was an Air Force pilot. Obviously, you know, he was second in flight school, so he was very intelligent, and he was a very deep thinker, similar to us. Him and I had many conversations at the bottom of the Grand Canyon on one of our many trips down there about aliens and about physics and about the same things that we talk about. So he was very similar to us in that respect, and he was very intelligent, and we could talk about anything. And it was – it was I tr- cherish those times. What saddens me about all of this, what saddens me personally – my ego, my me. What saddens me is that I speak German. I'm. I. I didn't know. His last name was Hummel, dude. That, that doesn't mean shit. <laughs> there, there are guys named fucking Johansson that don't speak Swedish. Well, right, like, but I mean, no, but what I'm my my <laughs> point is like <laughs> surname alone. I didn't. I didn't know him like you did in any to any capacity. I certainly met him and I've hung out with him, but not anywhere near you. If I had known all of those things back then about him, because I just, we didn't have circles, because you and I kind of almost Venn diagrammed 
the way we met. Yes, sir. So I didn't, all I'm saying is I never had the pleasure of that experience with him. So that's my personal sadness mm-hmm. is I couldn't know him like in any way like you could, yet I should have. Because like I'm just what you're telling me is exact. It's like the th- it's, we like three copies of each other. It's fucking multiplicity all of a sudden. So just that's where I'm sad. And for you and for obviously Tyson's family. But so. You met Tyson, here's brother, and let's go, you know, he passed. I don't want to talk about that because I know how hard that was. And when you would share stuff with me, it wasn't even, I'm sure you were told way more than what you shared with me, but I remember you leaving. Were you, can you just tell me at the end, I guess, did you go see him? You saw him several for, times. Yes. So how was he in spirits and all that? Like how he was so, so pure. Like how was he even in those painful times? Um, Good, good. Uh, and and he was hopeful because this he had it's called anaplastic thyroid cancer, which is a ninety five percent death rate. Nine, you fucking go, no, Google that shit. It's fucking it's fucking horrible. So ugh. when he told me whatever year it was, I don't know twenty fourteen. Mm-hmm. When he told me, I was like I I couldn't believe it. I couldn't fucking believe it. I was and it make I'm. It's fucking with me right now. It's okay. Um, it's, take your time. I'm, it, a year later, he got he got a clean bill of health. He was like, I'm good. He he was the five percent. He got a clean fucking bill of health. Wow. I don't know if they did chemo or radio. I don't know what. Yeah. I know. I believe, I'm sure surgery. I'm sure a combination of all. Three I believe he did. I believe he did have his thyroid removed. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I, had, I had lunch with him. Um, we, he lived in Vegas cause he was stationed there in the air force. So that's where they stayed once he retired after 22, 23 years. So I met him halfway between in like Kingman. We, and, and he had a, some kind of a, uh, bandage over his neck. Yeah. Over his throat. Like where, a, the, where the trachea. Yes. Like the tra- yes. And it was like very bandage. difficult to understand him. Sure. I and, um, but he, he was in, um, he looked Good spirits he looked and everything. great yeah. and he was in good spirits and he had he was cancer free right and then nine months later hey man the cancer's back and three months later he was dead okay. and i i does that answer your question yeah. well how, how 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 many times you seen him towards the end like how many times when would you say the last when's the last that, time that, you saw him? That, let's, that, say, let's end with the last lunch, time you saw him that was lunch. that lunch when he looked great and whatever yeah, yeah. and i and i know personally you wanted everything to do to be at his side. Of course. But I also know you. It would have. I would have killed you. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm going to try and yeah, not cry. I, oh. But, um, I, it, but going there to try to be there for him would have killed you. Like, let's, let's not kid ourselves. People talk about strength and stuff. There's some strengths I, I'll admit I don't have. And that would have been, that probably would be one for me. So I talked to, yeah. Um, the executor of his will, a good friend of his, and she she's the one that called me when he passed away. That because he has two kids, and his kids were there when, yeah. when he passed away, and so I'm glad that they were there. Yeah, um, and I think that's the most important thing. So, let's close that. Tyson, we love you. Yeah, bro. We're sorry you're not here. Um, wife and how many kids? Two kids. Two kids. Yeah. We we love you as well. You're you're an extended part of Chris's family, I know, and and mine through Chris. So we love everybody. Let's close that. Tyson's gone, and we're sad. But now we come down to brass tacks because this is what we want to talk about the whole time. Because we've gone. How many times have we talked about the dangers of certain religions and organized things, and how it's created so many problems? And I'm sure I'll have a separate podcast about just a general thing because faith is probably the best thing that anyone can have. Faith is a great thing, a personal great thing. It is my personal opinion, though, that organization, the human touching, the fallibility, the bastardization, the absolute power that corrupts absolutely, all that shit in organized faith is the problem. So, what happened and when when did you first have a conversation with him about what we're going to talk about? Uh, first of all, 
Oh, sorry. Thank no, you. no, no. I'll get to your question. Yeah, but no, there's, please, a, there's a please. quick story that I need to tell because there's, there's three events, and then once I get to this in, within five minutes, you'll it'll all make sense. So in in uh, in our the summer of our junior year, we all of us in our RTC went to an Air Force base for like summer camp for four days or something. Um, he was 17. I was 16. Uh, we shared a room, like a barracks. Yeah. So it was like a little hotel. There and was that two, was Jay Rotz, Junior ROTC? Junior ROTC. Um, him and I were roommates. Uh, we had two beds, a bathroom, and it's two, three, four days, whatever. He, every, and I, you know, him and I, I've known him, I had known him for three years. Great friends. You know, we had, we had, we, but we had never slept over at each other's houses. So, yeah, he had night terrors. I didn't know that. He woke me up screaming. Like, get away from me, motherfucker. I will kill you, motherfucker. I, I didn't know mother, that. Motherfucker was repeated. And he was screaming this in the dead of night, pitch black, <laughs> in an Air Force base with strangers. Yeah, it was it was him and I. In yeah. a, in a, in a, it wasn't really a well, strangers, but you know what I mean. Yeah, like someone yeah. he's never spent time so with. It, it was. I'll oh, get you, motherfucker. And he's a he's a he's six six. He's a right. he's has a loud. He's a he's loud, imposing. Yes, he's, he's imposing. an intimidating, loud, boisterous figure. He's a loud fucking dude. Yeah, he's a big dude. So, and I didn't. I just thought. It scared me, you know. I was, I was like, I was like, hey man, are you okay? It's like, oh, I'm sorry, man. I was having a nightmare. So I didn't, I didn't think anything of it, right? Keep in mind, he was 17 when this, when that, this was. I never thought anything of it ever again. So after you guys obviously don't ha like don't have a lot of sleepovers after no that. so it's like not even a thing for you it happened correct. it was like a one thing that happened during this camp thing correct. oh cool it's out of out of sight out of mind correct and you're fucking 16 why would you think anything correct done uh, he he said right. oh i must have had a nightmare so i'm yep. like okay got it nightmare. he says he's okay yep. i'm gonna take his word for it yeah you mm -hmm. trust him right so i guess we're about and you've known each other three four years of this. right three times, we're, years we're of very this good time. friends yeah. so we're already talking about colleges and you know what I mean? So we're probably about 38, maybe give or take a few years. And he says, we had already known that our high school principal, cause we went to Catholic school, Catholic high school together. We had already known that our, our Catholic high school principal, uh, father Harris, I think he became Monsignor Harris. I don't, he had, there was allegations about abuse. Oh, you got, yeah. Um, uh, you got a promotion. I believe he did. I, I, I know. I'm just, I'm sorry. I, I'm already starting. Because, <laughs> I'm sorry. fuck yeah, keep starting. I'm so, sorry, um, he said, Yeah, Father Harris tried to molest me. And I said, oh, Dude, this was t 22 years after the, the, the night fucking terrors. We're 38. I'm like, I'm already bald. I already I had a wife and shit. So you... I had no idea. 30? Okay. So we had 30, never... How the hell did it come out? Like, we, dude, we had been at the bottom of the Grand Canyon together right. in a fucking monsoon. Like, like... <laughs> You know what I mean? Like in the tent together. Right. You, guys, you guys were like huddled up going, yeah. we're going to die. Yeah. Or whatever. Like we, had, I mean. like we had been Jesus on the top of a, th we were at 13,700 feet in Northern California together. Like, you know what I mean? We'd been, we'd done all these amazing things and I had no idea. And I go, what do you mean he tried to molest you? So hold up real quick. I'm sorry, but you're 38. Yeah. You've gone through everything yeah. together. I had no idea. Okay. None. Not a single thing. Correct. And after the reveal... Right? Let's be honest, guys. We say, oh, if they're being molested, you'd tell people. Well, hang on. 25 years later. Hang on. He said, Father Harris tried, tried. to yes. molest me. So, I okay. know. So what Tyson said was, and I said, well, I, I was shocked. I said, well, he, he, he said, I, well, he goes, I, I want to tell you what happened. I go, okay. I mean, I, I'm your friend. I'm you want to tell me, you don't want to tell me, I, I don't want to make you uncomfortable, right? Regardless, I'm your friend. Thank you. So he says, yeah, he tells me the story of, um, he was, Father Harris called him into his office to c commend him on an Air Force award that he won. So 
when Tyson was 16, when I was 15. So this was right at the beginning of Tyson, our, our sophomore year. So um, Father Harris, this is what Tyson said. Tyson was sitting in Father Harris's office um, in, in the, you know, how like at, there's a desk and then there's the chair for the person's office and there's two chairs for visitors to sit. Tyson was sitting in the two, in one of the two chairs for where a visitor sits. Father Harris goes to close the office door, comes back. I close the door, sir. Also, just so you know. Sure. Father Harris closes the office door and comes back. And remember, Tyson is a six Big foot dude. six. Well, now he's 16. He's 16, but he's a Im very imposing figure. Well, no, no. What I'm saying he's is still a, he was already 6'2 at 13. Now yes. he's already so three he's, years past what you said he was. Let's say he's 6'4. He's, he's minimum six foot. He, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, he's, boom. Yeah. I'm sorry, but six foot he's is a big the, fucking Yeah, dude. that's already taller than the So average. he's sitting yeah. in the chair, though. Okay, so Father Harris, right. this is what Tyson tells me. Sure. Father Harris comes up behind him. And puts his hands on his shoulders and starts to massage him, starts to rub his shoulders. Tyson says he tenses up. Father Harris lets go and Tyson leaves the office. That's what he told me happened. Right. Two years later. You're now 40. Yes. Tyson says that's not what happened. And I said. How did that come how did you meet at that point? Like what were the circumstances you guys getting together? Just oh, no, out was, or whatever it was, or what? Just, well. Many phone calls, okay, yeah, so more hiking trips. This is in person, though. Y yes. Okay. So he said, hey, man, he, he had been going to therapy. He been go he went to a week-long intensive therapy session at a place in California. I don't remember the name, but he said he he, he, he really found a lot of peace. And he, he said he's been, he had been battling anger management problems. Sure. I never really saw that. I did see there was some marital strife. There was some issues there. Um, I don't think that Tyson would ever have a reason to show a friend that volatile side, just personally, because I don't, I don't know how people have seen me blow up, for example, like PTSD ish or whatever you want to call it, you know, because there's a lot of things going on. We don't, we haven't, he wasn't diagnosed in any way yet. No, he sir. He was never age. diagnosed right. with anything. Nothing, never. No. We, when that we I know experience of. trauma that we're going to talk about here, we know that. Fucking there's imprints. There's some shit. I have blown up. You see me blow up. My girlfriends see me blow up. You guys both know not a ever a thing with you two would like ever be anything. Like you would never have to worry. However, you see me outside of that situation. I know no one else can get hurt. I have these bouts of just fucking rate. I don't even know mm -hmm. what the word is. Yeah, n as do I. But we wouldn't hurt a fly. Uh, it's just it's one very of strange, things. isn't it? It's fucking crazy. So Tyson tells me that that that's not what happened. He tells me that he has filed paperwork to sue the Catholic Church, the Diocese of Orange in Southern California, the or Orange County, California, and he wants me to be a witness, and I. Is it like a character? So please yes, excuse yes, my ignorance. Character, like a character, a character witness, witness to say that Tyson is a, an upstanding, non non fibbing kind of person or whatever. Yes, like good but, character. But also how he was, how we were in high school, sure, and, and how we sure. were in college, and how he acted after you know our trips together and our how what we you know because when he was stationed in Alabama in the Air Force and I went to visit him three or four times and I got to hang out with his family and. Those were those were amazing times, yeah. and so th they were going to ask about those things, and so he said, "I'm going to I'm going to file paperwork, and here's my lawyer's name, and he's going to call you, and I I I wanted to tell you that you're going to be deposed by the Catholic Church in the next week, in the next seven days, someone's going to knock on your door," and I was like, Com completely sh fucking sh flabbergasted. And I'm like, okay, I mean... I, I can't I, look at you right now, I'm sorry. No, I'm not, I don't, don't, you're good. I'm, I'm so I was, I didn't, I said, yeah, I, I will, of course, I will support you how in any possible way that I can. I, I mean, dude, you like, you're my brother, man. Like, yeah, I've you known you it. since I had hair. <laughs> so, and then he said, I want to tell you what really happened. And I said, okay. Um, he said it was the, in that, I was in that room with Father Harris and he 
unzip my pants and he tried to perform oral sex on me. He touched my penis and he and I stopped him and I left the room. And Tyson believes that how was Tyson connected to the church at that time? Did we Tyson that? was not raised Catholic. Tyson got into Sorry, our no, you're fine, tangent, sure. but no, you're fine. I'm, I no, didn't. You're okay. Tyson was not raised Catholic. He was not a practicing Catholic in any way, shape, or form. He was one of very, very few. There was 2,500 kids in my Catholic high school. There was five kids, five that were not Catholic. He got in because his grades were so good. He was wow. an incredible, dedicated student. He got a scholarship, and you know, Catholic school is fucking expensive. So he was, he was a very good student. Um, Tyson believes that his cancer, he blamed Father Harris for his cancer. And I don't, I don't discount that. Uh, like just psychosomatically alone. Yeah, because just with he, the stress and the carrying that with you. You, will cause physical yeah if you read what anaplastic thyroid cancer is it is developed by high doses of radiation how the fuck does a normal do well he's an air force pilot right so okay did the air force was he exposed to high doses of radiation possibly did he how right how so i, I don't think his theory is that outlandish well We've seen physical results as of um, from emotional things. Correct. So absolutely correct. Uh, I don't doubt that any stressors could trigger any kinds of autoimmune disorders. Uh, physical cancer. I mean, it, it lumps, nodes. Yeah. Whatever. Well, I mean, I, how have you gotten a stress rash? I have. Yeah. That's a fucking well, rash. I, I definitely know for a fact that I when I'm stressed I get a headache. So yeah. and that's That's a neurological result, yes. right? Like yes. that's neurological. So very that is not outlandish, but just that. the night terrors and hit the constant of that. Yeah. So but so, I'm curious how how that connection so the he, Father Harris was in the school? He was the principal. The prince. I'm sorry, I didn't. I, if I, I don't know. That. I may he was the principal have of the high school. Him, and if I did, I'm he was so the principal sorry. of our high school. Okay, so father, that's where we're at. Um, I was wondering if it was through church. I didn't. Know he it was, was the principal school. of my Catholic high school. Right, and he probably was the head of some church of some sort. I'm sure he, he was. was a, I don't really fucking whatever. care. Yeah, we don't give a shit. But it, <sighs> but anyway, so, so that's how the connection was with Tyson was yes. through school. Yes, sir. So I'm sorry if I didn't. If that wasn't clear. I apologize. No, if no, I you're good. Um. Tyson and I went to Catholic high school together. He was abused by the by our principal, the Father Harris. So seven days after that conversation, and convicted or whatever. So regardless, defrocked, whatever the fuck. Well, I'm saying not just when you say he did it. I'm not. We can't. We we have to say allegedly did it or whatever. He's well, convicted. Well, I will or get whatever. to that. Okay. Sorry. Yes. So seven days later, there was a knock on my door. Um, that there was I was served. There was paperwork from the from the church um there was a check with it for like 107 dollars like for that my is... for my it was weird for my time and services and inconvenience and i never cashed it i don't know what i don't know what happened to it but i, I just thought it, it should be framed is what i probably should have kept it and wrote fucking inverted pentagrams on it or something but um <laughs> blood goat blood whatever sprinkled but, unholy water yes on it, <laughs> so and I was I was with my, I don't know maybe we were engaged at the time my ex wife at the time, and I I saw the the server coming up the front walk, yeah. so I opened the door and I walked outside to meet him so the dogs wouldn't freak sure. out and she yeah. just she just saw me leave, and she's like what the what the fuck's he going and I was trying to cut the dogs off at the pass. That's right. the whole point yeah. of, of my behavior. <laughs> so I was, sta I, st I was standing outside reading the paperwork crying because I was, it, it, and I didn't expect that, but I, it made me, 
the only thing it, it made me feel bad for Tyson. Oh, that's yeah. a, that's not accurate. But there, I don't know how else to say it. Can real quick as as we do things real quickly here. We don't. Um, I'm going to personally. I hate so much. <laughs> I'm going to personally divulge that Chris is what we call an empath, uh, and just beer Google that one. Um, beer Googles that one, but no, uh, an empath. Uh, just has high sensitivity towards uh, absolutely feeling of others. So just the paperwork alone, he probably felt the energy of the situation, in my opinion. So, And this was 2012? I don't know. I don't, who fucking cares what year it was? Right. So, um, well, you, you were 40, you said, right? When, when he told you and said you were going to get subpoenaed in a week. Or, yeah, or, so 2012. Yeah, hey, yeah. good job, me. So, job. um, and I, I walked inside, and my ex wife, she's like, What is it? And I said, It was Tyson, and I handed her the paperwork. And, um, and then I, 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 I went to, I called him, and I said, Hey, man, I got the paperwork. And he said, Okay, well, my lawyer will be your lawyer for free. And I said, Okay. And then, um, a month later, they had a, uh, it, this obviously he was suing. Do you want me to keep down, going down this yeah. road? Okay. Yeah. Oh, this this okay. whole story is vitally important because you're going to have people. You're going to some people are going to hear this, and they're going. You're they're going to tell people that are involved with this fucking organization. And what are they going to do? This dogma bullshit. Whatever they spit back about how great it is. This is what's important because these are facts. This isn't you and I not liking someone or liking an organization and making shit up. This is real. This is the actual thing that happened. You have a personal story to it. It's the only reason we're talking about it is because it's your personal thing. If this was just me, I'm not here to bash. This is fact. This is what happened. So I believe everything's vitally important. So please share it. As well, if you need to course correct, then I'm, I understand. So, Thank you, but this is your time, and, and it's Tyson's time. Uh, a month later, the lawyers for both sides, they came to Phoenix, and um, they rented a little legal office, and I was questioned, cross-examined. It was several hours, two hours, two and a half hours, and it was um, – they referred to Tyson as Lieutenant Colonel Hummel repeatedly that was his name lieutenant colonel hummel this did lieutenant colonel hummel act this way did lieutenant colonel hummel have a lot of friends that's odd very odd it was very strange to, to think is that to turn him into an object i, I don't know dude i don't i mean i'm i'm sitting there across from these lawyers and i'm like what it doesn't his birth certificate is not lieutenant colonel no shit no, I, but <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, you mean I guess. Sorry, redundant. He was like, that was so obvious. So he, wouldn't it be right. Mr. Hummel? Or anyway, a retired I, lieutenant. And he was he was he was abused as as a child, as, 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 as a minor, right, as, tight, as right. a minor. Fuck. So, um, <sighs> so the, it was a hard, bro. it was a lot of um, you know, and a lot of those things. Hey, how many friends did he have? How how you know do, who were they? And then after after the questions, I I got, I got home and I was like, hey, a I called Abel because he was a mutual friend. It's like, hey man, they may call you. I wanted, to, and then I call. I try to get in touch with a few other guys and say, hey, you, you may get a call. I just I tried to find some people to that I had to talk you to. Knew in circles that you right because I don't I, I didn't want anyone to be blindsided. Well, you didn't name drop. You were well, deposed. They, no, I but, mean, well, like, yeah. Well, you know, I I I also don't want to lie. I right, wanted to do right. the right thing, and right. that and if that if Tyson got. If if nothing came of it, that I did the right thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Tyson was adamant about taking this to court. He did he did not want to settle out of court. Yeah. He was like uh, they kept offering. He said, "Oh yeah, hey dude, they're up to five hundred grand." I said, "No." Hey dude, th and this went on for eighteen months. I think they just kept boom. And he, hey dude, they're up to seven hundred fifty grand. I said, "Nope." Hey, dude, they're up to a million. I said no. Hey, dude, they're up to uh, um, 1.25 million. Hey, dude, I was like, oh, my God. What's the highest number you remember? Two, you just off the top finally, they offered 2 million. 
and his this is what Tyson's telling me. He they offered two million. He said his lawyer advised him, his lawyer Kevin, who I met, was a nice guy. It was very nice for a lawyer. I was like, wow, this. <laughs> I, I mean, I haven't met a lot of lawyers, but this dude was kind of, I would totally have a beer with him. Disclaimer, I believe there's many nice lawyers. Just yeah. So you know. well, you, I don't you know need to get sued for not liking lawyers. Bro. I mean, there's like not 10% a, of lawyers kicking on YouTube. You know how many people watch this? Like three whole downloads. Three whole lawyers. Yeah. I think three people, and that's you, me, and whoever that third person is. Echo Lima. That's who oh, it is. There it is. Ooh, shout out to Echo, Echo Lima, Lima, apparently. That's Eric. Hi, Eric. Uh, Charlie hey, Papa. Eric. Charlie Charlie Papa loves you. Charlie Papa. So, um, the the church, the diocese of Orange, offered it offered him two million. So, let's just stop. two million dollars for a sixteen year old's claim at forty one. Yes, sir. Like I'm, I'm trying to paint the whole picture yeah, here just yeah. to show how the diocese offered yes. two million dollars. I'm sort of the layperson. I, I apologize. No, no, please. A diocese is a a, ca- a county. So the Orange County, California, a diocese is all the Catholic churches within the county. It's like the headquarters of the county. Well, no, it's know. it's all the churches in that county. Oh, yeah. So it's like, a, the conglomeration. Right. Uh, so like Los Angeles County is the diocese of Los Angeles. So it's, it's all the, the churches in the county. Orange for, County for franchise. The, <laughs> for oh, all the yeah. non-Catholics, I, I apologize if I'm using Catholic terms. No, I appreciate that, and there's times where I knew Dicey, so I apologize I didn't ask. Okay, but uh, so, just to paint the picture, number goes up and up. It yes. is now two million dollars. Yes, sir. For a sixteen-year-old's claim, or I'm sorry, for a forty-one-year-old's claim. Yes. Of something that happened when he was sixteen. Yes, sir. Father still alive or dead? He's but, alive. Oh, he's time. still okay, alive. He was now. still okay. I don't give a shit, but, but I'm saying that guy's still alive. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. this stuff. Yeah. They offered two million. Yes. Without, I mean, that they offered that. Yes. What does anyone out there? I'm going to do it. Hello, Twitter world. <laughs> what would you think about an organization offering two million dollars for claims from a guy from 25 years prior? What would you think? I'd say it's fucking, there's a cover up here. I just, I'm sorry, I'm just going there right away. Why wouldn't I? Just settle, get it out. And I'm sorry, go ahead. But, oh, yeah, you're, no, you're fine. But I, that picture needs to be very much painted. I did forget an important piece, which I'll come back to. Okay, then I'll just tell you the important piece before I, Please. T- before I tell you the conclusion. I, I'm good. So I, I, yeah. did for, I did fail to mention, um, Tyson did show me documents From the 70s that the church, that his lawyer obtained, that the church knew that Father Harris was a pedophile. And um, they, I don't know if they shuffled him around. I know that's a popular term with the, with with pedophile priests happens with policemen a lot and with priests. I don't know if, I don't know if the document said that he was homosexual i know the documents said that he was a pedophile so um father harris was was a very good looking man very charismatic everyone wanted to be his friend all and and he was very he was fucking buddy christ seriously (laughs) (laughs) i'm sorry i'm trying i have to throw sprinkle a little levity every once in a while because this is so fucking so and it's funny because when i when when i was at school and i saw him i wanted to be his friend and and i charisma yeah and it, it was because my high school there was the girls were gorgeous and he hung out with all the girls he hung out with all the football players. He was like one of the – Father Harris was one of the cool kids. And I never got invited, but p- kids got invited over to his house, and apparently he had a huge wall of VHS movies, and kids would watch movies oh, at his sure. house. And I never got invited, and that's fine. Get back rubs. Um, Sure. So my point is that the, 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 there was a cover-up. There, that there's absolutely a cover up because I knew about it. So uh, at forty, right. I found out there was a fucking cover up. You have paperwork that proves I, I don't have paperwork. No, no, no. I'm saying I 
saw the fucking right. paperwork, and I you, was right, like, you saw the paperwork. Right? Oh my god! In, in, yeah. I think it was like 1974. I don't. I, I can't say for sure that date. I sounds familiar in my head. My point is, you saw the paperwork, yeah, and I didn't. And prior to what you just confirmed. I had already just, and we have never. I've never. Right. I never told no, you. No, this story is brand new. I to never me. told I know you nothing about, the about this story. Right. Well, I don't. I don't know anything about this story. To be honest, I only know what happened from your words. That's it. This time, I've never had the the opportunity to talk with you like this. So, I might start are, smoking crack today, man. This um, might be the day. I got. I don't know what this. I don't know what's in this, but it might help. Hello, so, Twitter world. Hello, Twitter world. Christopher if, might smoking crack today. If you can find Christopher crack while this is recorded, go back in time and put it on our desk. If you have, we'll be very grateful. If you have a car that can go eighty-eight miles per hour, yeah, my, with the car that go like this, my so, DeLorean only goes eighty-seven. I cannot so. do the voice like you do. Anyway, hello, so uh, there was a cover-up, and it, right. Father Harris. Was a known, known fucking known, pedophile. Known pedophile. So, um, so two millions offered. Let's hang go on. there. Before oh, that, sorry, before sorry, sorry. there was there were several cases against Father Harris. Um, before that, there was a a a gentleman who was a year younger than us, graduated in 1990. Who was I don't. He alleged. That Father Harris abused him. I don't know this. I don't know the details of that case. He was a year younger than me, and he killed himself. Everyone alleges it okay. until it's found true. So his family sued the church, the dice once again, the sure. diocese of Orange. After the, his death, pos, pos, posthumously. Correct. His family in the nineties. I don't know right. what year that that you can. Um, well, actually, just real quick, when, you can look it up. Once again, interjection. I have the list of all those ones we talked about, yeah. all the different lawsuits. Yeah. So I'll turn my head. We'll talk about them real quick and just kind of run down a list of some of the big ones. But this, I don't know if this one specifically. It's in there. Tyson. It's in there. Okay. It's, so it's, it's part That's of the, the reason okay. why the Diocese of Orange is so much. Got it. So okay. this Got gentleman it. that killed himself, may he rest in peace. His family, the one. Settlement alone was twenty three million dollars. What it was in the fucking L.A. Times. One alone. A, a, a settlement. One settlement. Se uh, once again, let's clear. Let's be clear legally. Yeah. A settlement by the is Diocese not a, of Orange is not a conviction in no, the court. They settled out of. They court. settled out of court for for one person. Twenty three million dollars. That is not found civilly guilty. That how, is outside of the legal system being told to pay that. How the fuck does a how the fuck does an, how the fuck does a church organization have twenty three million dollars laying around? Wait, how does why aren't they giving that money to the poor? Why aren't they helping people get off crack? Why do you have twenty three million dollars? Yeah. What? No. Yeah, zero dollars with it all allocated to the causes. My dad, he retired in fucking nineteen ninety one. He passed away in twenty seventeen. Six fucking days. Okay, first of all, seven days a week he went to mass. May he rest in peace. God bless him. Six days a week for fucking those. Whatever, it's weird. It's 30. the only time I feel sorry for your dad. <sighs> anyway, isn't that weird? This fucking guy, my yeah. father, six days a week for all those years, he went and delivered food to the homeless. He went to the food banks and delivered fucking food every fucking day of his fucking retirement. Right. And the fucking Catholic Church has twenty three fucking million dollars. <laughs> Fuck you. Well, right. And let's expand on that. No. Because I'm going to look at the camera, and I'm not going to do it. But I'm going to say. From where do you think that money comes, ladies From and gentlemen? From my parents. Right. Who do you think the money... Where, where, from where do you think that's coming? If you happen to be of a certain organized faith and you're listening to this, how did they get that money? And then look in the mirror... And make a real tough decision, I think. I'm so fucking disgusted right now. 
You should be. So Tyson got offered was offered two million dollars, and what did he say? How did how did he his say? His lawyer, oh, okay. he he wanted to say no. His lawyer told him he want Tyson wanted to go to court. Tyson wanted a public forum to he wanted do, it on the record. He wanted to do as much possible damage to the diocese of orange and to father harris's name as possible he needed to hurt them he wanted yeah. to have dirty laundry for as f- in the newspapers and for decades right. he wanted he wanted he wanted revenge Vengeance. yeah he did he in, was in very few cases is it like quote unquote justified i don't know the right term but children that's it so his lawyer told him, look, this is the most, this is it. This is the best we're going to do. And this is better than a public trial. This is, this is it. This is what we've been working for, for, for 18 months. This is it. This I wonder is, how much they got paid to say that on the side. Uh, you mean his lawyer? Well, he got 33%. No, no. Imagine... I, I'm a conspiracy theorist, so oh, sure, fuck imagine, it. imagine pulling lawyer Where's side saying, hey, father, whatever, Mulcahy from fucking, what's that one, Unsolved Mysteries or whatever the fuck show is on? Check files. I'll give you, I'll give you an extra million if you fucking get your guy to fucking lay off. I'm, is it possible? That's all I'm asking. Oh, yeah, of course, anything's okay. possible. I know, but all, all, all I'm asking is we're talking about this. Like, I don't have a good fucking feeling about these people. You fucking... So don't you think you... If I were them and that and your buddy wasn't budging, I'd go to you to get him to budge. That's where I'd go. But I, I'm i not... I'm speculating, oh, gentlemen. Oh, sorry, it took me a minute. Okay. I'm speculating. He got a, he got a, he got a million on the side. Yes. To, get, to shut up Tyson. Yes. Oh, well, Fuck. I'm not saying that. Look, this is 100% speculation. But w- does that would that shock you if it no, came to because be the lawyers are dirty that? fuckers? Well, I'm not. I'm not saying. I mean, I look. I know nothing about it, and I. This is not a conviction or any accusation of any kind. It's spec. It's asking a hypothetical question. Could yes. the diocese have gone? Of course. To the person that stopped budging, going to the people that that are advising him, and say. Get him, advise him better, and we'll yeah. compensate you for that. Just, just a thought, just a thought. So, so, so what happened? He took the money. Two million. He settled out of court. Yeah, settled out of court. Uh, newspaper. The whether articles and newspaper. Yes, there art- was. Well, however, it did not mention his name. It mentioned right. it mentioned a lieutenant colonel in the air force. Was awarded two million dollars, and I I have sent that to you, and you can yeah. look at it, yeah. and you can read it. Um, mm-hmm. The Diocese of Orange, da da da. da. Do you want me to post all the like? Give a fuck. WWWs and shit. Sure. And some stuff. I'll I'll see what I can fuck put up. Fuckfatherharris dot com. I swear to God, when I when I when I. He's probably living so fucking comfortably too right now. When I when we started talking about this again. Because it's been kind of a dead subject. That's not a bad word, choice of words. We, we tend to use that word just because know, we're like old school. And we, don't, we forget that it's we... Been a, it's been a subject that's not been on the top of my mind. Right. And then when we... It's been on the back burner for many, many... It's you know. been not even in the kitchen. So <laughs> it's, it's... It's in a different house. Whoa. So when I read the documents where of what happened after and where he is... He's no longer a priest. Okay. So right. he's, I, there, there's a word that starts with an L, L A I Z E D. I don't know how to pronounce it. Liaised? Even, maybe liaison, like liaised? That, he's not that, liaised. The word liaised, actually liaised, means liaised. you're removed from spiritual responsibilities. It's, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I thought it was defrocked, but anyway, the church. I thought defrocked meant losing your virginity. Oh. Maybe defrocked is like the. Def- maybe defrocked's a slogan defrocked? term because you have a frock. It could be defrocked. Like, isn't the frock like the, the rope? Whatever. Yeah, anyway, this is so the L word. I'm even caring right now because there's so much more important things. Anyway, the guy's not a fucking priest. Yeah. So Great. the point Great is, time. I kept reading and it said 
blah, 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 blah. He, the, his last known residence was Riverside, California. And my first was, my first thought was, fuck it, let's fucking burn Riverside to the ground. The whole fucking thing. And that's not nice. There's nice people in Riverside. There's so, like three people there, at least, that I've heard. I, 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 I've been there. It's nice. It's not <laughs> a bad place. Been. Sure. Sure, it's nice. So, yeah. Um, I don't know my fucking point. The weirdest thing, uh, what you're saying is he's no longer, he's, he's no been raised and whatever. And now we're the first thing he thought of was just burn the whole place down together. Yeah. You I were really, going to, you ought to fly with a bazooka and that might be true. Um, I'd like to refer back to the carpet bombing comment from the last one. Yeah. We so, can you have a B-52 that. I can borrow? B-52. Not a rock lobster. The love shack. No. Oh, it was a rock lobster. <laughs> Like that one. The man already says, it was a rock. Sign says. <laughs> <laughs> that it was the best tangent Levity. we've ever had. Levity. Okay, so Tyson got two million. And, Settled for two. Got and it. less than four years later, he passed away. And now okay. his kids never have to worry about money. And, uh, he, but they don't have a dad. And, yeah. Can we can we change that? We can fucking do whatever the you, fuck you want. Because I think you would agree. Because from what I've heard, he's he was a good dad. Absolutely. There's some, and I'm he not saying absenteeism husband, is a good thing. But he was a great fucking dad. And I'm not I mean, saying absenteeism is a good thing in any parent thing. But there's some bad dads you wouldn't want out. But he was he was not one of those. I went to the I was I went to the before his son was born when his daughter Sophia was she was like three or three or three or four. I went to the Alabama State Fair with them. Al Greenball, I, I Alabama. I, said, I tell you what, <laughs> we had the best time. That's amazing. And he just had so much fun with her, and they Man. had funnel cake. And I get was she on his shoulders the whole oh, time? Oh yeah, the fucking old time. I bet. I just, just I picture it. It's it like was great. so great. Okay, well, so he settles for two. Where do we go from here? So this is where we're going to go. I'm going to do this real quick. I'm just going to, I was on Wikipedia. You can check it. But I looked at really quickly, just some of the payouts by the Catholic diocese. I, I noticed on that page, I, I, and I found it very somewhere. interesting. The number of bankrupt diocese. <laughs> well, I yeah, have no idea. That was very surprising to me. Like, okay. I mean, like, um, Several in New, in New York and not New York City, but New York State, as well as uh, Washington State, just Very bankers in Tucson. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I know it's crazy, right? Yeah. So, so real quick, I'm just going to run down some of these big ones. Ready? 1994 was the first one they even talk about. It's 40 grand, not a big deal. 40 not, grand? Yeah. 1997, 31 million. Okay, it sounds big. Originally, 119.6 million via jury award. On appeal, it was reduced. Dallas, Texas. So let's be clear about that. 119.6 million originally. Okay. 2003, um, uh, 25 million. Separate, separate one in 2003, 85 million. But these are all across the United States. Yeah, across the United States. Okay, I'm not, this, is, this is just, the di this is Catholicism yeah. Yeah, 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 as a whole. So anyway, totals. Here, here's a cool one. $100 million, 2005. Look at Phoenix. 60 Look million. Phoenix. Phoenix. Where are you at, big? Hundred thousand dollars. No, the one right. below that. Oh, so there's you're, one you're that's six hundred sixty million, I think. Though, what? here it is. Lost in two thousand seven. Oh six. my god. Okay, two thousand seven. Six hundred sixty million with five hundred eight oh. victims. Oh my over god. And possibly over. Oh, I know that guy, Mahoney, the oh. Archbishop Mahoney. Wow. Yeah. And that was Los Angeles, which is right next Just to Orange, north right? Of Orange County. Yeah. Right. They so border. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. get it. You get it. And the orange one here is 30 priests, two nuns, and 11 that's, others. That's Tyson. 100 million, 87 That's people. why that, yeah, that, that. 2005. His that's 2 million right. and the 23 million of the other gentlemen is, in, is inside <sighs> that 100 million. Fuck. So just real quick at the bottom of this thing, just to be done, 1.2. Two nine six. That's a one point three. Let's round up. Billion. B. B. That's Trace Comas people. Three. Uh, one point three billion. That's eighteen hundred people that were abused. Eighteen. Yeah. Over eighteen hundred thirty nine people claim in in this uh, were victims, totaling one point 
two nine six, close to one point. What's the date range on that though? That's uh, as of twenty eighteen. Yeah, this is nineteen ninety four. The last one was twenty eighteen September, and I don't even know if it includes every single settlement. Let's not kid ourselves. Well, true. So I this is just an ancillary number, guys. I'm using Wikipedia. If it's wrong, it's wrong. I'm sorry, but uh, Tyson was given two million, and we you knew of the twenty three million. So just on his face alone, there's twenty five. So that's easy. Uh, doesn't surprise me any of these numbers, except for the numbers do fucking shock the shit out of me. One point two nine six billion in some kind of settlement or whatever. Over eighteen hundred people. One thing that I learned today, um, and I, I, it, it's almost, it seems like everything that we ever talk about is its own rabbit hole, which is disturbing. One thing I learned today was I believe it was New Jersey. There was a case or I don't know if you want to call it a case, but there was a thousand kids abused over 70, seven zero years. And I thought that's, that's, that's 50 kids. Uh, no, it, it, that's 50 kids. No, it was a thousand kids. No, no, I know. I'm saying it's, that's 15 kids a year or 150 kids a year. Well, that's, that's generations of priests oh, and yeah. generations of, of, of children yeah that's 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 a culture that's Got it. that's just allowed to, to i don't want i mean i was gonna say the word cultivate but cult huh cult uh, well that wasn't my point i know i, I know didn't, but i didn't it, mean to say it's, to go there but i know but that sounds like a Freudian slip that has that, truth to the, it so. wasn't my point i know but it's 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 repulsive that Okay, first of all, I mean, it's repulsive that in many respects, but the fact that it's allowed, it's it was allowed to go on seventy years. That's that's nineteen fifty. Since nineteen fifty, priests have been abusing boys. Minimum, at least. Okay, in this one specific right. area of the United States of America, right? right. That's fucking wretched and i just read about it today what gets me more or more it's a fucking ridiculous statement what gets me also is after the first one was exposed did the church do an internal audit which one you know no, no, what i'm saying like whatever the first fucking accusation was whenever the first fucking trial ever the first accuser ever patient fucking zero that said someone touched me i don't know right well obviously it kept going because we know it's happened si it happened since the first since the first ever trial so they never Put a kibosh in it internally. You are a fucking religious organization that speaks of love and God and family and Turn the everything. Other cheek. Everything. The meek shall inherit the earth. Everything. Right? You are a f Save the doggies. <laughs> Save the boxer. Boxerlove.org. Boxerlove.org. Sorry. B L E V. L U V. L U V. B O X E R. Luv.org, um, but that um, let's say this. Hey, there, hey guys, hey Father McKee, we just turned out we got we got somebody touching a boy and they got a little. Uh, then they're like, okay, like that's what was the fucking response? Hey, we got a second one. Okay, okay, let's send him to Ohio. <laughs> yeah, or whatever. Regardless, yeah, let's not. And and that's one of them. One of them is not doing anything. But second is at, is knowingly moving them away from the heat that they caused themselves with their fucking violations of humanity.